better than ever. The regime's expiration date are way past due. Imagine this, if you have a carton of milk in your refrigerator with expiration date past due. Do you change the packaging or do you get rid of the whole carton? It's up to you to choose. Um, I was told to put some of you guys to inform me what's going on at the moment. And so um, I thought about this little speech I was supposed to give, and I asked myself why I couldn't speak up. Is it because I've suffered at the hands of the, the, of the, the regime? I haven't. I've never known poverty. I've never known oppression. I never experienced corruption. I never suffered from it. But although I've never personally gone through these, these experiences, my parents, um, as I was growing up, taught me things like don't lie, don't cheat, respect has to be earned, and they taught me a lot of, of principles that I do my best to implement every single day of my life. Now, to grow up, I see that all of these principles do not apply or are not implemented in my country is something I cannot accept. It would be extremely hypocritical to try to lead an honest life while seeing other people, millions of Egyptians, suffering on a daily basis at the hands of the regime. This is not about me, this is not about my social class, this is about the entire Egyptian population who's speaking up, who are making their demands and making their rights. We shouldn't discriminate. Principles don't discriminate. You can't have an honest, decent, dignified life just because you're rich or wealthy or whatever. Making you poor doesn't, shouldn't deprive you of these principles. So I'm here, I'm, I, I'm doing my best to, to echo the voices of my friends back home who are out there in Tahrir Square. They've been there for days, they've been making their demands. And all I want to say to the world is that we need to raise awareness. The world needs to know what's going on in Egypt. People have to speak up on behalf of those who cannot speak up. I am an Egyptian and that automatically makes me feel the pain and suffering of other Egyptians. But more importantly, I'm a human being. Regardless of where, you're con like where you come from, regardless of the flag you carry on your shoulders, regardless of the language you speak, of the religion you, or the faith you, you believe in, this has nothing to do with this. This concerns all human beings. If one person is oppressed in the world, it is our responsibility, as people who have access to education, to healthcare, to the media, to speak up and make the suffering stop immediately. Thank you. In, in the danger of having thugs come by, shoot at them, having stalkers shoot at them, have Molotov cocktails shoot at them, and they're there for their freedom, their liberty, and ours. And at the same time, people in Tunisia are still fighting, are still fighting that the regime could not steal the revolution. In, in Egypt and in Tunisia, people are fighting to make sure that the revolution reaches end, become final, and we see a real change. So please chant with us. Yaskot, Yaskot, Hosni Mbarak. Yaskot, Yaskot, Hosni Mbarak. Thanks everyone for coming. My name is Frank Glad. I'm with the Answer Coalition. Just one of the one of the many groups that came together here. Also came together Saturday. As you can see, there's so much enthusiasm for what's going on in Egypt, falling on the heels of the Great Revolution in Tunisia. It shows for a lot of people, especially youth, to see that people can come together, not only on national.
nationality, but as has been said, on religious basis. Children, women, youth, adults, the elderly, everyone coming together in this social upheaval to liberate themselves against dictatorship. But it's important, brothers and sisters, to know that that dictatorship does not just come from oppressive people in their own countries, but comes from the oppressed, the oppressive nature of U.S. imperialism that starts in this country. This country sends billions of dollars over to Egypt to destroy, to oppress, and to kill. And if we, who are here as activists, do not give a voice to those injustices, then we just serve the same purpose, the silence. And that is a true testament, it's a true testament of what people can do in Egypt and around the world when they come together and they say we will not be divided, we will not be conquered, we will resist oppression, we will come out to the street for 12 days now and we will overthrow the repressive government regardless of who wants it or who doesn't. It is Egyptians who are forming their future and we should support that. The struggle will live on and continue because U.S. imperialism is continuing. Because still, for those who are oppressed in this country, black, Latino, poor, working class people, immigrants who are getting attacked, we don't see any benefit of billions of dollars being sent to kill poor people over there. We don't see any benefit in our education, in our health care. And the mothers in California state programs are getting cut out of their food programs when $2 million get sent over there to make tear gas canisters that say, made in the USA. That is why we have to come together. We have to also give a voice and stand in solidarity. We hope that you come out. Again, we have a number of outreach opportunities. We have a table, the Answer Coalition, that's involved in a number of organizing things. We have a protest coming up March 19th. And we hope that you get involved, because just as the Egyptian youth showed that the youth, that citizenry can come together united against oppression, we also have to show that we can come together and liberate ourselves against those who oppress us. So thank you so much. Stand solidarity with the Egyptian people. Thank you. Salah is a Tunisian student of PhD. Please welcome Mariam. Hello everyone. Um, I want to just talk for five minutes about things that we've asked ourselves as Arabs just two months ago. Two months ago, I asked myself, many Arabs in the Arab world have asked themselves, how many times were we treated in an unfair way? How many times we saw people treated in an unfair way? How many times we've asked ourselves why our inventors, why our thinkers, why our political fighters are in exile? Why are we feeling we are inferior, inferior to some trash? I cannot find another better word for it. It's trash who are governing us and deciding for our future. Why are we inferior to other nationalities? And today, look at you all, look at millions in the streets of Egypt, look at millions in Tunisia, fighting. Today, we have hope, we have hope that we will not be treated unfair. We have hope that we will see unfair and we will object that unfair. We will stay for justice. We are, we have hope that our thinkers, our inventors, our political minds, our great minds will come back to our countries. We have hope that we will feel superior. We have hope that those trash will disappear and we ourselves will decide for our future. Thank you all. Thank you, Maryam. Could I have um, uh, Imam Mohammed Abdelaziz from uh, Sacramento Mission come up and speak? And also, Aswat, if you guys can set up for the next act, inshallah. 
السلام عليكم